Hi friends, now we are continuing uh, to select an exception handling blue pressure from RPA. In the last video, we have seen about exception bubbling, means it starts from a business object and goes to the page, like pages, and by finally will bubble up in uh, in the main page. Okay, first let me start with like a business object, the exception in business object. And create now. I'm creating one business object. I am assigning, assigning a name for this one exception exercise business object. So, like Adi Chart PA. Click on next and assign a meaningful description for this one. Click on finish. Then, double click on open business object. So go to action. So drag and drop two data items here. Then one calculation stage. So the data type is number. So initial value is ten. And again. I'm assigning a name for this like Y. The data type is number. Initial value is zero. So go to calculation. Let me assign a name for this one. Let's select exception. So X divided by Y. And stores in Y. So link the stages. Then run it. Now you can see like one error message. So rather than fails in the calculation stage, the exception will yeah like an exception will recover will catch that exception by using a recover stage. So recover and then followed by resume and followed by end stage. So link these stages, reset it, and then run it. Here the recover stage acts like a magnet, and the exceptions will drawn onto it, and the diagram flow will jump from the exception point to the recover stage. So whenever the exception is in between resume and recover stage, you call it a recovery mode. The resume stage will neutralize the exception, but it won't fix any issue. Now we'll see how to throw an exception. So for this one, add one decision stage about the calculation stage, and we'll set an expression the y is zero. Add a decision stage. Can exception. And drag and drop so y is 0. So obviously it's sent true. So link it and then you add one exception stage here. Connect to the like a first outbound link from the decision stage to an exception stage. And then connect like a you know, second link to calculation stage. And open exception stage. So here you can see I you can assign a name for this one, like let's say like you know, y is zero. Then 
the exception type doesn't request any double quotes but whereas good like exception detail and put in double quotes so it should be in double quotes the expression is always in double quotes then click on ok then reset it and then run it so to print these results either from exception stage or from except like you know, calculation stage to print it now i'm going to add like one calculation stage between like a recover and resume stage so let me assign a name for this one like an exception results and the expression is expand this exceptions and the exception drag and drop exception detail here and store in any data item let us select an exception a result and click on shortcut then ok then link the stages so reset it and then run it so here you can see the result exception result is like y is 0 suppose if it is traveled from uh, through this one so let me switch it and then reset it then run it now you can see the result here so which it is comes from like you no know, calculation stage so right now we are in object studio so it has generated the, this here it's a business object it's an so we have seen one exception here and then we'll take to this business object to the process studio and then there we will see and then finally like you know, where it where it will bubbles okay please stay with us thank you